Um, so uh, thank you everyone for joining. Um, it's great, also a great turnout and, and glad to have it. Um, this, these meetings are recorded. We post them on YouTube for uh, the folks who uh, can't make the meeting. Um, so, uh, and I apologize for not getting the, uh, the, the previous meeting up until yesterday. I'd, I'd been busy and then under the weather and not feeling so hot the last couple of days. So uh, just hadn't had a chance, but it is up now. So if you missed that meeting, you can, you can watch it. Um, uh, the agenda, um, I didn't get to change this as much as I wanted, but introduction and then follow up from questions on last week. And then we'll probably move into kind of like a, a proposal for decide on a proposal for where we uh, want to uh, have the summit. But big question really is, is getting to the point where we can uh, decide a, uh, a location. Um, introductions everybody has been here as, except for hans um i guess uh uh hans we'd just like you to introduce yourself um why are you interested in the summit and then an icebreaker of of what's your favorite editor uh so uh i'm uh, hans lekker uh, and um, i'm employee of technicolor so uh, last year i went to the open wrt summit and i found it very interesting there so uh well, uh, different actors which are working on OpenWRT get together and can exchange ideas or uh, uh, that stuff. So, uh, therefore, and since we are also working in technical with OpenWRT, I'm still well, I'm very interested in the summit. Regarding my favorite editor, I have to say it's uh, Vim. Vim? That one's come up a lot. Yeah. Sorry? That, that one's come up a lot in the favorite editor. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Question. So, um, the to do is just the, nothing we really have to deal with here. Just a, a reminder of all the things we have to get done. Um, location suggestions. Um, we'll probably we can discuss this a little bit. Uh, as follow up, I wasn't able to get the numbers on the number of people who um, it was asked last week. Can we get? The numbers of people who went to ELCE last year and then did the OpenWRT Summit as an add-on as part of their registration, I wasn't able to get those numbers. Um, so uh, we don't really have anything there. Uh, generally, I think Kathy and I and everyone else kind of thought it was about 50-50 of people who were, at the, who were at ELCE and went to the summit or... Um, uh, and or and people who just went to the summit separately. Um, so the other the other suggestions that have kind of come up um, are Prague, um, which is the um, Beta has has mentioned, and another one is is ELC and Battle Mesh next year. Um, uh, the I personally am a big fan of that one, but um, I just kind of you know just wondering if anybody had any thoughts on on these we've kind of discussed these a bit in, in the past um and so i am kind of kind of wondering what what you know people have any additional thoughts or or anything like that uh i don't know if i've missed anything doesn't sound like it because i joined no. uh, in an in introduction time um but the the kind of attempt last week to try and find out a bit more from the core developers about preferences. I didn't get a lot of, I got maybe one, I think Hokey got one person feeding back. Am I right? Have I missed something? There, there, there was not much feedback from what I could tell. Hokey didn't, uh, didn't add any additional. It, uh, the one person who actually had a feedback is actually on this committee. He hasn't been able to make it to any of the meetings, but uh, he, he was just kind of un trying to get an understanding. If I remember the one person who responded, um, it, that he would okay. be under Nemesis, I believe is his his screen name usually. So. so do we do we actually have any more information since last week? Um, not not really, um, unless there's something that people, you know, any thoughts that people have. Uh -huh. um, well, I mean, I, I could give my thoughts, but I think it would just be mm -hmm. um, my opinion, <laughs> which I've got to back up with. That's fair. 
it's only that I think, you know, from my perspective, I think if um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you know what I mean, if it was, yeah. if, it, if it went well at ELC last, ELC last time, um, everybody was really happy with it. That would be, that would just be my thoughts, just because I'm a, not really the biggest risk taker in the world. <laughs> that, that would tend to be my opinion too. I, I, I tend to feel that, that going to ELC is a good idea simply because it works so well. Um, and, and I worry that we're going to have trouble getting enough people if we go to a place, if it's not co-located with something, um, which is unfortunate because I, I think the Prague ones, I, I think, I, I think we should have one in Prague or something in Prague. I just don't know this, this, this really, I, I get worried about the, you know, the risk of it more than anything. Um, but yeah. I don't think. Hey, Eric. Hey Eric, this is Otan. So uh, just two thoughts, just two thoughts on this one. So um, uh, ELC would be probably, uh, the, uh, let's say, the best option so far because because of because of what, what has been said earlier that if it it is not broken, don't fix it. Yep. That's for one. The second is that ELC covers not only the wireless uh, industry but but rather IoT and media and and all all, all other kinds of stuff. While, for example, Battle Mesh is rather a wireless and network focused event mm -hmm. uh, for for the Prague one I'm not really against that one uh, I, I like Prague have, uh, have been there a couple of times so it's a nice place but on the turnout as in how many people would come probably ESC would be the uh, w w uh, sorry that that would cover the widest range of people so I, I, I would I would pretty much vote for ESC this year as well yeah, it the I think the fact that ELCE is also co-located with they're having open IoT at the same time is kind of a really big benefit because open WRT is perfectly um it, it's like perfectly positioned for IoT. It, it's so it's it's like all of a sudden you have this like really um all these people that are focused on IoT and then we can then bring those people in that we wouldn't be able to get um we weren't able to get last year even. Um, so it's like kind of a, a nice little benefit. Um, yeah. Eric, did you maybe run statistics? Uh, I don't know if you may, maybe shared that or not, but how many people came for OpenWRT only and how many people came because it was on ELC so they stayed a uh, day longer? Uh, I wasn't able to come up with numbers. Um, we never, I don't think we really, uh, we didn't get a lot of a lot of response in the survey and I wasn't able to get numbers on the number of people who did it, who who went, who registered as like an add-on to their ELCE ticket. Um, I think it again was, we kind of got the feeling that it was around 50-50, but that was, you know, just kind of, talking to people at, at the event. It wasn't like any sort of um, particularly, uh, oh, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, it wasn't a particularly, somebody's got something beeping. Some, sounds like somebody's dialing in. There's a new connection. Okay. Okay, it looks like it stopped. Um, <laughs> the um, I wasn't able to get a really a real good sense. Um, uh, you know, any like formal sense of what it was. I think it was a, it was a pretty. I think it had a strong effect. I, I don't. It wasn't like everybody came just for uh, EL because it was with ELCE. But I think it was a pretty significant amount. Luca. Uh -huh. Okay. And and the fact that it's free and you only have to add an extra day. It was kind of like you've already put down all the money for to get there. You've already put down most of your hotel. You only have to add kind of like an extra night. It, I think it has a has a positive connection. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, my this is what I propose. Um, I propose that we co-locate with ELCE this year. Um. Which, because we had a good experience, um, Art has has said that he's talked to people, the me purple members, as well as people in the industry, and they've expressed very positive 
thoughts on ELCE particularly because there's so many people from industry there, um, which isn't the only thing that matters, but it, it is an interesting thing. There, it, there are lots of OpenWRT slash lead developers in Germany, so that's a positive. And uh, FreeFunk is based there. So it, hopefully we can get people from, from the FreeFunk community, and I may have spelled that wrong, but um, it would be nice you know, to get some of the people from those communities there. So I, I think it's got a lot of benefits in that, in that case. Um, also, I would say we should, as our proposal, I would, I would recommend we plan on co-locating with Battle Mesh as well in the spring. The reason I say that is because that is a somewhat more community focused event. And I think if we, if we can get a good experience at ELCE this year, we can get some of the industry members that are interested and then hopefully if it's okay with everyone, get some of them to battle mesh and they start to see the, the collaboration between there's all these community people doing all this interesting stuff with wireless that we either didn't know about or weren't involved in and then try to see those, that kind of connection there. That I think to me, that seems like the best plan. We don't necessarily, and I've, I've talked to Art, and he hasn't said, you for sure have the budget for Battle Mesh, but he kind of is, it's, we have a decent chance that, that Purple would be able to fund that. Um, and then additionally, I think we should consider a plan for smaller regional summits, which happen more often. That was one of those, that was one of the feedback. And I don't know if that this com committee is the right place to do that, or we have a subcommittee, or that just is done completely separate. Um, that we have uh, the OpenWT community as a whole has has smaller regional summits um, that are more often than either six months or every year. Um, that's that's a very vague last last point, but um, what what do people think about that? Do you think that's a proposal we should we should vote on? Eric, it sounds here that I think it's a good idea. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a good idea, but uh, how confident are we that we can attract uh, all the, uh, all at least a few numbers of the OpenWRT lead core developers? Because indeed I've seen Hoke launching the Milder, but indeed has not been that much response on it. Well, we have two of them here, so yeah. that's positive, and I know Hauke would come. I think we... I think we would get a decent number, about at least as many as last year, and I think we can um, do more turnout. Or we can do more work on trying to recruit because, you know, last year recruiting was very much I was doing a lot of it, and now that we have some people that are, you know, in the community involved in this planning, we can. I think we can get more. Yeah, with the with the objective of this second summit be, you know, pretty much the same. Or are you planning to have it sort of, I don't know, hit different, different objectives? Um, I think that's a, up to the community. I, or it's up to this committee and the community. I don't think there's a, I hadn't got to, got to that point on, on the planning, but I, I think it's something that could be considered. Um, because I think it is important though that we do, um, that we really strongly consider locating co-locating with Battle Mesh next spring because it has such a large proportion of the community that of, of community developers related to wireless they're interested in it. I, I'd like to I'd like to suggest that at least I mean we should come up with agenda topics and obviously a lot of it should be technical, but mm -hmm. I think there should be a certain amount of organizational discussions and maybe those are side discussions but you know the what we've seen lately with open wt lead break off and stuff like that i think there needs to be more communication and more uh facilitated collaboration i mm -hmm. mean i don't want to see them fracture apart like i've seen in the you know arduino community it's kind of a mess so uh no. it would be really nice if we set aside some of the time of the summit you know it, assuming it's you know even if uh, all this lead and open WT stuff comes back together, it's just good for organizational planning and where is this project going and how can we put more structure around it so that things like this, you know, aren't surprises in the future. 
I, uh, I would, just like we said think, last year, you know, we said you, you need more organizational structure mm -hmm. uh, and um, democratic governance, and maybe that could be part of the topic, along with all the great technical discussions. I, I think that would be a it would be a good agenda topic that could it could go a very long time, but I think it would be a good topic, a, 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 like a community discussion, as uh, when we're when we're getting to the agenda. I think that would be something we would certainly want to propose and and put on the agenda for uh, any of these events. Yeah. So maybe, maybe there's two. Go ahead, Luca. It's a good topic to be brought uh, on on the beer because if it has a. <laughs> tendency to go a very long time than, uh, <laughs> you know, to collab, uh, to combine that with the beer event after the party, so. I think that's a good idea. Do it as the last <laughs> session. Yeah. And then go to, and then go to beer afterwards. I think that would be the perfect way to do it. So, so that could be the next topic of, I mean, this summit planning committee should be to, uh, start going out now and getting agenda topics you know there are things we've discussed for the last couple of years that we haven't that we haven't followed through on completely and how could we um, put more structure around getting um, documentation for example we've got some good starts and some good motivation but how do we allow it to happen mm -hmm. yeah th i think that's that's probably going to be the going to be one of the next uh next things after we after we decide on the on uh, where to do the summit and, and then, those, and then those things. yeah, and then the technical direction around industry, some way to help facilitate getting those industry fork patches stuff back in, and maybe you know industry should pay the the organization to have specific uh, liaison technical liaisons that help facilitate that. Uh, that's that's been a problem for a while. Mm -hmm out of tree patches and yep. and getting the board farm as part of the rationale you know you can you can convince the business and marketing people of the organization that if you're getting all this community testing behind it um, it's a good reason to get your stuff back into the core mm -hmm. I would like I think, to propose yeah. that uh, one topic of the um, this uh, summit would be this board farm and like how to get it started or because I personally didn't yet have a chance to look deeply into it mm -hmm. and the more and more you guys uh, mention it and uh, due to the recent events I see bigger benefits of having that oh yeah uh, okay but that's for tomorrow I'm guessing yep uh, topic okay yeah, no, definitely but I know I totally agree with you and it just as an aside I will be doing um, some tutorials as we're adding new pieces to our, our new devices to the board farm, I'm going to be doing tutorials on how it's actually being set up. So it's easier for people to actually, you know, get the pieces and get started. But that is a, that's a separate topic. But, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So I, I think we, I think I might have gotten us off topic here. I'm that's trying okay. to take notes, but, but co-locate with the LCE. Um, so who do we have on the call? I see Eric beta, Hans, Luca, Paul, myself, and a couple of numbers. Who are the numbers? Zoltan, and then one is Hans. Okay, Zoltan. Okay, got it. So, is there any more discussion, or should we just? Uh... Vote on this proposal, or is there another proposal that someone wants to wants to make? Oh. Uh, maybe maybe because I proposed proposed Prague, so I I should tell something something to it. I, I I'm well on one side I'm not 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 happy, but I think that yeah, uh, ELCE has all the all the advantages in this year. One of the things that I see that, see here is that because of the let's say open WRT versus lead. Um, uh, Issue, let's say, uh, I, I think we are we are in in. There is some potential for for this to to really um, not go well, 
that we might get really low attendance and i don't want to add to this by by um, trying to push forward something that has even less less potential for for great attendance so yes i i think we should go for elce as well uh, as the as the best way to really gather the largest possible audience and then and then we should push push the linux foundation to have elce open up Open IoT Summit in Prague the following year. How about that? Yeah, yeah why not? We, we we have already discussed it internally that if if uh, there is there is the decision to do Open WRT Summit besides ELCE, then maybe we should even try to convince uh, uh, the Linux Foundation to do ELCE in Prague. So why not? I think that'd be an awesome idea. If yeah, you have I think some, so too. If you have some some connections there, we might start discussing it directly after the ELC. Okay. Yeah, I think. Well, I'll, yeah, I think Art may know some people, so we can. Uh, we can try yeah, I, uh, Mike Worcester is the COO of Linux Foundation. We can we can put a. I mean, <laughs> I, I I think they also go out and uh, get surveys from people to to get results, but. If there's anything we can do and influence it, we will try to do that. Absolutely. Oh, okay, great. I also have a comment here while mm -hmm. talking on the um, location. Um, mm -hmm. okay, I'm perfectly okay with the ELC, and that's perfectly okay. But if we take a look from, like, if I don't know, 80% of the uh, audience were um, companies, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't it make also some sort of sense to have it like on an event that is aimed for companies like Broadband World Forum um, or uh, th the same one in Barcelona or something like that in the future, maybe? Yeah, except my impression is you don't attract the, you, you attract some deep technical people, but you get a little bit more of the business marketing people and i think they'd be less likely to be interested in an open wrt summit it, that, that is an interesting thought though is is does open wrt as a group does there need to be like a uh like more of a marketing presence uh, a, at these yeah, events? a business collaboration yeah I, well then Something i would like that. say that Again, it goes back to the open WRT. Does it can it can it have a foundation that has some financial and governance support that can be, uh, you know, that can lobby with industry for some of these technical problems that are outstanding because of industry not collaborating as well as they could. Mm -hmm. I mean, then I can see going to these other events and being an organization. But I, I think it's a really interesting point, though, Luca. I think that's something we, um, whether it's this committee or some other group, we, it's, it's something that probably should be considered. Like, how do you actually get this on, on you know, marketing or, uh, you know, decision makers? How do you get it on their radar that this is a choice? Okay, thanks. Absolutely. Um. All right. Well, I, I mean, I think we can, we'll uh, send this proposal out to the list and just get votes. I think it's pretty likely that we'll, people will, uh, will be in favor of it from what it sounds like, but uh, just to formally do that, uh, in, which seems fair. Um, so uh, for proposal, I, I don't, or for the location, I don't think we have anything else to discuss. Okay. Um, the next steps of uh, vote on proposals. The other thing we could talk about since we have another 30 minutes, unless people want to go early, which is perfectly fine, um, is title. Uh, some, this, this, uh, the, the name um, Open WRT Summit by Purple came up. I don't know if that's what the committee wants. I don't think that that's actually a, I don't know if Purple has to even be in the name. Um, <laughs> We're, I don't think we have a problem with it, but um, if that makes people uncomfortable, it certainly doesn't have to be. Well, I, I just think that Open WRT Summit is good as long as the Open WRT, 
you know, core team. And again, it's this kind of nebulous thing where like <laughs> one or two people might complain, but the rest don't. So how do we decide? I don't know. O Open number T summit, Luca. Do you think it's a problem calling it that? Well, what was the name last year? I forgot. It was just Open WRT Summit. Open WRT Summit, yeah. But wasn't it there purple within the name or it wasn't, something like? It wasn't in the name. I think we mentioned like in the, some of the language that it was sponsored, sponsored by, by purple. purple. Sponsored by but purple. But it wasn't in the formal name, no. Yeah, so I'm perfectly fine to have it like it was last year. And mm -hmm. uh, I also sent that comment on the list saying like, if you guys are making an effort and organizing everything and uh, at the end of the day paying for it or most of it uh, or purple is paying for it then of course it's completely obvious to me and i think to everybody else that uh, it's okay to have purple somewhere there in the name or the sponsors or and i think it's okay to attract other sponsors too i mean if we can get other people to help sponsor the you know and if purple puts in a lot of money but somebody puts in some money they could get a sub-level sponsorship i'm fine with that i mean over time you kind of want to encourage that so that uh you know if purple doesn't have to float the whole budget the whole time i think i will discuss this internally but i i think cz need could uh, come up with some with some donation for this or yeah. it might be like producing uh, T-shirts for the summit, or, or right, something. right. It doesn't have to be money, maybe, but yeah, exactly. We, I think we would like to help in some way. That awesome. happens a lot. That like uh, lunch is sponsored by CZ Nick, or the social party is sponsored by CZ Nick, and then you yeah, get yeah. branding around that, and yeah. and uh, yeah, acknowledgement and visibility around a certain thing, like you say, T-shirts, lunch, dinners, whatever, breakfast, coffee. Mm. So, would it be like then best like uh, to have purple like collect this all of these donations and then like uh, be the front face or how did you think of it? It's since it seems kind of logical for legal reasons to have one group have it, and I think purple would be happy to do that. I assume I don't haven't actually asked, but I don't see why we wouldn't. So. Um, yeah, my question is, like, is it, um, can Purple do that, like, uh, legally and all that other stuff? I, I don't see why we couldn't, but I, I again, I, I would have to get approval. I don't see why we wouldn't. I, I even think Art had mentioned the idea of, of getting sponsors just because he thought there would be people interested in that. Um, but it was kind of an offhand comment, so I don't know what his thinking was, but I, I do I don't see why we wouldn't be able to do that, I guess, is the best way to, to say that. OK, I think uh, that at least at this phase, you should like write it in the summary or something that uh, anybody wishing to like join, just to drop you an email or publicly or whatever, just for people who are interested that they know that they can do it like just some yeah. high level instructions i think that would be good absolutely yeah, yeah definitely we can do that all right well is there any other discussion on any other topics or do we want to just just call it a day I, I maybe just have a small, small thing about the about the name. I think that we should also keep the just the open WRT summit, or maybe if we could somehow show that now with open WRT versus lead that we are coming both parties. Uh, if we can show this in the name, like I know open WRT lead lead summit I, I know maybe this might help as well to to bridge some gap that might have uh, appeared between these two 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 groups I, but i'm not sure I, I have no internal information about what is going on so i, I it's hard to hard to assess the situation yeah i think right, for now so, right so 
Right. So, 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 be, so before we move into that, uh, we are going to have a meeting uh, with, with, the, with the lead guys in the next few days. We, we don't know the date yet, uh, but, but, but before we make any uh, splitting or merging, uh, let's, let's just wait until we are over that meeting and, and see where, where, this, where this thing is going. Yeah, I agree. Use the Open WT Summit for now, and if if oh. October is a while away, so if something changes, we can always change it. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. For now, Open WT Summit recommend using same title as last year, sponsored by Purple. Purple would be the platinum level style sponsor, and then we gather other sponsors for T-shirts, food, social events, travel scholarships, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Fine. Yeah. Okay, great. For for me, this is uh, great information that or great news that there is some some communication between lead and open WRT developers. So that uh, hopefully in, in in the near future we will know something more about what is going on and where we are going. For me too, uh, because the current situation is not good for both parties. I think so. Um, I hope this gets resolved in the near future. Well, my comment would be, uh, as for uh, any other public discussion, there is more than meets the eye. So, yeah, we will see after this meeting what will, what will happen. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I think we can uh, call it a meeting then. Uh, do we want to have another meeting uh, next week? Um, uh, remind me what we, yeah, our original list. Yeah. Um, location of the summit, date and time of the summit, title. We decided title, finalizing the budget needed from purple. I, I, that's, I don't think much, it's going to be much work. And then setting process and guidelines for session proposals, those type of things. Um, there were a couple other things I think, if I remember right, we discussed and I didn't put them on the to-do and I forgot to. Um, you're, you're showing the intro. Can you show the to-do? Oh, it isn't showing oh. up. I see the to-dos. Right. Oh, maybe I'm just late. Okay. Okay. There it is. Um, I mean we don't have a ton that probably needs to be done in the next next few weeks uh the date and time we i'll talk to um it, if we do formally decide on elc then i'll talk with the with the linux foundation people and clarify what times are um available and whatnot um the only other thing what uh, it just no, it just I had something in my head, and then it just flew out before I could say it. So I, I had something else I was going to say, but I don't know what it was. Maybe I have I have one thing that we have discussed yep. and forgot to to conclude. You are yep. discussing one versus two day two day thing. Oh, yeah, that's an, that is an, that is important. The one versus two day. Um. We can talk about that now. I mean, and then then I don't think we're going to conclude it today, um, because I, I see it as as uh, important when it comes to the finalizing budget and yep. and whatever and even recruiting sessions. Because if we have two days, we can have more more let's say workshop style stuff, or there is more space to to, to fill. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was it was one one day last year, was it? It was, we, uh, we had to, uh, kind of, it, we cut down the, the period, uh, we accepted every submission, um, and we had to cut down the number, the, the amount of time people had, because we simply didn't have enough. Um, and we had some time problems. It was, it was, it was a bit of a time crunch. Um, I, I think that for. For me, one day of talks is enough, but if I were to add a second day, I would add more like a hackathon, workathon type of, uh, and maybe the venue is not even the same. Maybe the work, you know, the summit is co-located with ELCE and we have one extra day, but then uh, if, if it's possible not to 
not too far away, somewhere in Berlin, the the Freifunk or some other venue where we could pick up and uh, you know have all the developers get together, and that's an optional second day sort of working session. That'd be kind of cool. So um, yeah, nice. Yocto has a co-located event. Um, one guy from the company was there two years ago when we were in um, Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, I forgot which city it was. But basically, he was uh, this second day on the uh, Yocto training. And yeah, so they, they've uh, got like some kind of materials, what they will do, run through the uh, Yocto project and uh, stuff like that. So uh, they also got some kind of uh, access to virtual machines, which pro uh, Google provided. And then uh, you could like build stuff and uh, make your first image. Uh, flash it on a device, and yeah, he uh, he actually got the device um, by doing particip participation in this um, mm -hmm. workshop. Uh, and this workshop from Yocto was a paid event, so it cost like I don't know, 100, 200, maybe 300 dollars for this one day. Um, yeah, so. I think if we go with the workshop, maybe we should check like uh, how this Yocto project does it and take some lessons learned from there. This is just something that I remember from two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I think workshop, it, so, it sounds like a really nice idea. My uh, my organizational side worries about, the, about getting all of that together. Um, but I do. It, it is. It, it does sound like a neat idea, certainly. Why? Why don't we add that to the uh, next meeting where we're going to discuss um, all the different things that we we'd like to happen at the summit, basically. Yeah. I think we're. And <clears throat> maybe quick. So Beda and uh, you, Hans. So you use OpenWRT in the company, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Um, if we were to consider you a workshop material like uh, people who were on the conference and who uh, would like to be on the workshop, like are we talking about entry level open WRT stuff or maybe uh, like more advanced things that problems you run into or you would like to see solved or just, just to set our minds on uh, concrete uh, workshop ideas like beginner level or advanced level? Well, I really have no idea. I think uh, we might I mean, we might do different things depending on, on the on the audience because uh, one thing that comes to mind would be some kind of, um, let's say, code sprint where if, the, if there are enough developers, we can maybe get together and try to very fast uh, move something ahead that uh, that needs uh, several people to be at, at one place. Uh, so this might really help de with development of OpenWRT. But on the other hand, if there are there are more people from from outside, it, then then there it, it would be more interesting to have some workshops uh, for them so that they get, they get hands-on experience and i'm not sure what, what where we are going and what kind of audience we will have but probably the second time what about uh, so i'm sure that uh, companies who use open wrt as a, as a base they have a bunch of uh, hacks or maybe places where they cut corners and then didn't know how to uh, fix them or didn't know how or didn't want to or any number of reasons would it be interesting like to hear those experiences like which are not solved in a good way in open wrt for your specific use case and maybe like present that and then like just to see the real world problems you are running into when yeah you work on your your things just like, uh, I don't know, sharing experience uh, in informal way. So it's not like a presentation, it's more uh -huh. like... Uh -huh. I know. 
no, from our point of view, this would be really interesting. But on the other hand, I am not sure. Uh, it, it 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 would mean that there would be enough core developers so that we can we can get some feedback from them or discuss it with them. And also, I, I would be afraid that maybe other other people will be slightly outside um, this the, the let's say the scope of this, or that they would wouldn't feel that it's really interesting for them. So, but it, it could be could be split to some kind of let's say do do something for the general public in the morning, and then some more focused, more advanced stuff in the afternoon. I don't know. Would it be an idea to ask people who are coming which workshops they want, in fact, or so that there's an idea what is wanted by the public who is coming to the summit? And then another question is, should we like discuss these topics informally uh, on the ELC prior event prior to the Open WRT conference as well. Yeah, that that was just a thought. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure I follow what you what you asked, Luca. Well, I, when we were in uh, Germany two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of talks. Uh, like it was not Open WRT conference. We were just talking in that yep. uh, room. Purple has booked. So I'm just thinking whether. That should be done again. Uh, maybe that is enough, or or do we need do we need really two days? Um, oh, I see. You, you, oh. Luca is suggesting that a that a second day is more informal and during one of the ELCE days. But we don't Possibly. we don't even know if yeah we don't even know if the Open WCM summit is going to be before or after ELCE, right? The Open IoT and ELCE. Yeah, I don't outside. know. I think there's our three days, or is it two? I have to go I think, look. I think it's three days. I, I think it's Tuesday through Thursday. Okay. That week. So then we'd have to be a Monday or Friday. Right. If we were to do one day and then two days, you know, Sunday and Saturday. Because um, that might work to have the Open WT Summit first and then bleed into ELCE for the, ongoing, you know, discussion. The one problem though you have with that in, in, in depending on how big of a problem it is, is that people then have to have an ELCE ticket, which is not a cheap thing. Um, even if, I mean, it, that it adds up real quick. Um, so uh, that's my only worry about something like that. It's a, it's a perfectly fine idea though. I mean, yeah, that's why we need, that. we need someone like Felix from Berlin to help us with the <laughs> venue logistics ideas. You know, are there are there things near the ELCE venue that aren't in those exact conference rooms if we wanted to do some stuff on the outside as well, like a hackathon, workathon? Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. Okay. Any more thoughts on uh, on you know one two days other things we could do at the summit? Oh, I I agree with Katie that if we if we uh, want to do two days, then there must be something uh, more than just than just talks. Mm -hmm. There, one one day of talks is really really enough. So. I think it for for me the the mm, decision boils down to are we going to do workshops? If yes, then we we probably cannot fit it in one day. If we are not going to do workshops, then it's it's one day and that's, that's enough. Okay, I when we talk with um, the Linux Con or the Linux Foundation people, we'll assume that we're only going to book one day and then if we decide later on that it's like okay we think that there's time for another event or another day then we will then figure out something near um near the conference site 
for the other day um, for a hackathon or whatever. Um, that would allow that would allow us if if everybody again votes in favor of the of the Berlin and that that wins uh, that we would do that. Uh, maybe maybe just an idea. I think even if we uh, only have one day, uh, we should maybe maybe reserve some time for for informal discussion. In, in the group, so that it, that, the, that, that the schedule is not filled from morning till evening with talks, yep. and then just the social, but to have something in between when we can at least for one hour have some kind of yeah mixing two together or in in the conference venue and discussing stuff with with the developers and so on. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a it's a really good idea. Maybe it would be enough. We we don't have to have some special workshops. One way we could do that is to have an extended lunch. Um, it's, instead of, I think last year we had like a 30 minutes for lunch, we could have a longer lunch and then also kind of do discussion as part of that, um, but in a very informal way. That's just a yeah. idea off the top of my head. Eric, I pretty much agree with the, uh, with the let's say, a length on the lunch. Uh, but uh, what, what I would like to, let's say, ask you and Kathy is to uh, close all the core developers for an hour into the room and, 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 and let, let, us, let, us, let us just have our uh, informal private conversation. Uh, yeah. And, and I, 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 I wouldn't need to say that whoever comes out alive is, is the winner, but, uh, <laughs> but basically... But, <laughs> But basically, that, that, that's something which I feel that, that we are going to need some push to do. I, there's, and, I think there's some validity and, to that. And you might, need, you might need a formal facilitator. Like, you can like, hire formal facilitators to help with those types of discussions. Referees. To keep you on task. Uh, yeah. Arbitrators. Yeah, you know, basically, yeah, yeah, ba ba yeah, basically I, I agree that that, that, that there might be uh, a good opportunity to have a facilitator, but that meeting should be off the record, off everything, so behind closed doors, because because that's something which, which the core team should that should that be either without the lead guys or with the lead guys. Uh, that that's gonna be needed. I agree. I agree. I think that's whatever we do. That that has to have some time for that. Um. So if we expect some casualties from this, maybe we should do it <laughs> at, at the end of the meeting. <laughs> Stretchers taking people out. So I think not... it would be it would be much better that we do this like online, and once we have a chance to like uh, be face to face and have this opportunity, not to like. To, to make a better thing out of it rather than like everybody comes to the Open WFT Summit and then we like close the doors for everybody for one hour. So, no, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I think you should you should figure out, you know, try to resolve all the, do all the collaboration coordination now, but it never hurts to get together and with a small team and pat yourselves on the back and talk to yourselves as special and cheers and stuff like that and just be face-to-face -face, uh, camaraderie kind of thing. Wow, Kathy, you have a much more positive view of how this is going to go than everyone else. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I guess that's camaraderie my natural going. tendency. It's, 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 what I want it. it's what I want to happen, so I'm projecting my image of what I expect. I actually think that there's going to be a decent amount of that too, actually. But once the once the uh, disagreement gets worked out, and we're talking. That too. Um, no, but I, I think one way we could do that is a situation of we we would say um, for scheduling end the summit um, at uh, let's just say five o'clock, let's say, and then have like an hour to an hour and a half where we just close the room. Everybody else kind of just goes, you know, gets ready for the social event, and then the OpenWRT uh, team just, you know, sits in there, 
has their discussion, kind of like the private meeting, and then everybody just goes to the social event after. Um, to me, that seems like kind of a logical way to handle that. Um, but just an idea. I still think that uh, all the items that uh, we can or should or want to discuss can happen prior to the event and use I... the event for something else. Okay. Well, I mean, we, yeah, we think about whatever, whatever the, I mean, that's up to, kind of up to the core team on what they feel is, is best for that. All right. Um, well, we're almost to the end of our time. So do we want to have a meeting uh, next week? Um, I don't know if we have much, to t we're not going to have much to talk about. We can kind of maybe talk a little bit more about one or two day. Um, and do we have any to do's for that? For, for me, next week will be will be a little bit complicated. I'll, I will be uh, on another conference, so I, I would rather postpone it for for the week after this. But so in two weeks. In two weeks. Yeah, but, I, but I, it's, I, I can accommodate even even the next week probably. I think two weeks too. There's some bunch of purple stuff like the board meeting is next week and. It is. Yeah. Um. I know that uh, once we get the date set, Art is going to want to send out a press release because, you know, that's kind of what marketing people like to do. Um, and so we're, I'll certainly, we'll have it run by the, the group before we send it out. We're not going to send it out without, uh, without doing that. Um, but just to make sure that there isn't, that it, everybody kind of, it, it doesn't uh, step on any toes. I don't think it will, but um, so. All right. Well, let's we'll plan on two weeks then. Uh, it'll be June first. My goodness, it's June already at our standard uh, eight a.m. Pacific time. Yeah, great. Okay, fine. That's good. Well, thank you everyone for coming. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye. bye, -bye.